with uh, more on a Texas tribute to our veterans. Brett, good morning. Good morning, Charles. Yeah, as you mentioned, tomorrow is Veterans Day across America. Many of us will fly our flags, post a tribute on social media to a veteran, or even share a few words of support. But fewer of us actually take the time to really show our appreciation, especially to those vets who may be suffering but among those going the extra mile is a nonprofit called Heroes on the Water, which rushes to the rescue anytime they learn of a veteran or first responder experiencing dark or desperate times. So exactly how do they help? Watch this. You know, sometimes there's nice things about No, it was yeah, I know. right in there. Put it down in there. <laughs> I went to a, another high school in my same town. Yeah, I like to entice them a little bit. I put my little globe paint on it, on the tail. There you go. And what we do is we take first responders and veterans out on uh, kayak fishing trips when they are in need of some stress relief or what have you so they can pick up the phone and call us and within 48 hours we have a team out there and we've got them on the water fishing it's it's supposed to be relaxing and it is but when you come out here and you have a bunch of guys out here trying to catch the biggest fish it becomes a little bit of a fun competition and it's a blast how big a fish can you catch out here bigger than this I've caught a nine pound, 15 ounce out of here. And it's a joy and a love that I've, I've had the ability to fish and fish with these, fish with these gentlemen that uh, uh, have, have served our country. Good luck guys. Yeah. Heroes on the Water, always looking for veterans in crisis or vol volunteers. And if you can provide a pond or a lake or a place to fish, the nonprofit would be more than grateful. But not as grateful as that veteran or first responder who could use a friend or even a place to just get away.